while, the Jews were complaining to each other about him because he had said, I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. Surely this is Jesus, son of Joseph, they said. We know his father and mother. How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus said in reply, Stop complaining to each other. No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. And to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everyone who believes this has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. This, but this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will last forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. It's been a lovely progression through this mm. chapter from the, uh, the loaves and the fishes that are feeding uh, to, the, to the abundance of, of life that Jesus is offering through himself. And that, um, throughout John's Gospel, I find this um, sense of generosity of God. It like, starts with the the cana and, the, and the, the wine, and there's so much wine given that's more than you need. Yes. And uh, find this with the, um, the woman coming to the well and, and then, then, then discovering a, a herself, discovering a, a new way of life for her. And that, we find it here, the more than enough uh, food for the people. And now Jesus leads them out of that to a, a discovery of himself as being the the essence of life, the fullness yes, of life. Yes. Marvellous generosity of God. Yes, yes, that's, yes, it is. And as in the um, loaves and fishes, which just precedes this, um, you know, it's the food for the soul, and yet there were 12 baskets left over from that small amount of food. Mm -hmm. um, so there, as you say, yes, there is definitely abundance of food, and food for our souls. Mm -hmm. And, and John's insistence throughout the gospel that, that Jesus is the way of life, Jesus gives life, that the whole of the gospel seems to be bubbling over with this revelation that if you want to know where, where life is, come to Jesus. Um, Jesus says, eat me, you know, drink me, um, you'll, you'll find your life. We go on, John goes on from here as the gospel unfolds to find a, a man blind from birth and he's given his, his sight back which gives him his life back. And then Lazarus raised from the dead. They're, they're marvellous stories that, that pepper this um, very, very beautifully constructed gospel of life, I, I find it. Yes, yes. And, and as you were speaking, I, I couldn't help thinking that... Um, we're all given life when we're born, and yet this is an offer to make life bigger than life, to make yes. it more, to, to get more from it. The more you put in, um, into life, the more you get from it. Um, like love, the more love you give, the more you have to give. And this seems to exemplify what you know, sort of God's message of, of the Eucharist. Well, you and I are speaking from a position of faith, of That's believing. That's true. But the, the people uh, um, confronted by this in the time of Jesus were, were saying, but how can, how can this be? How can this person give us himself? And, and uh, we, we, are, we are privileged through the gift of faith not to have that, that blockage 
and, and yet it can still be very difficult for us to really appreciate yes. what we're being offered. That's right. And that's exemplified by the Jews, isn't it? Because they're saying, well, we know him. He lives just down the road. Mm, and yeah. yet he's telling us he comes from heaven and he's got the gift of life. And he is the gift, mm. uh, our gift of life. I think and it would have also struck them. them as difficult when he uses that the phrase, I am. You know, I mm. am the bread of life because mm. the, um, the sacred name of God I am. Uh, somehow he, he, he seems to be implying his own divinity and perhaps they would pick that up from their from their own cultural background yes. and find that rather offensive too. From their knowledge of the scriptures mm. and mm. yes, yes. Well the bread of life is something that we've been uh, privileged to to experience in our Eucharist and it's available to everyone. It is, yes, yes. So come. <laughs> Thank you.